Hey, today I'm over here at Miko's Water Management Area, and that's the very southern end of Bavard County. And uh, what's unique about this area is that this is a filter area that filters a lot of the water that comes off around Barefoot Bay area and flows into the North Fork of the Sebastian River. And what it makes it unique, they got a series of ponds and creeks and everything that basically filters the water before it enters the uh, Sebastian River. This whole area is a storm water's treatment area and it treats the water before it goes into the Sebastian River. It says that it should pull out over 16,000 pounds of phosphorus and over 27,000 pounds of nitrogen out of this water yearly. So that's a substantial amount. And one of the things that really helps purify the water is the natural vegetation and even non-natural vegetation that are in these ponds. Okay, the lily pads, the hydrilla and everything else filters the water as, the, as, as it goes over it and they help pull out the nutrients. And uh, for me, that's a really good thing. This is a uh, multi-million dollar project. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection has put over 1.5 million dollars into this. Department of Transportation, another 1.5 million dollars. And over a half a million dollars were put in here by the Bavard County. So it's a substantial amount of money to help clean up the water and help the lagoon. And the reason why I'm here, I got a call from a friend of mine, actually on Facebook, and he fishes this often, and he said he just saw in the last few days they sprayed this water management area. And for me, I cannot figure out why, because the spraying of the weed killers kills the weeds. It kills basically all vegetation. Now this is the same vegetation that's filtering the water. It filters the water, takes the nutrients out, and they absorb them. And by spraying around this uh, water management area, what it does is kills the weeds and aquatic plant life. That aquatic plant life that absorbed all those nutrients die, goes to the bottom, and releases all the nutrients they take in get re-released into the water. So what you end up with is a layer of dead muck is what they call muck but this is toxic muck because it's got the chemicals in with it also so when it rains now all that all that nutrients and all that stuff we're trying to take out of the water gets re-released into the water it rains it flushes into the uh, lagoon and our seagrass dies off why are they doing this I really don't know this is being managed by the St. John's Water Management District, so I plan on getting in touch with them and seeing why they're spraying. Honestly, the one thing that's going to save our lagoons and our waterways are the weeds. The weeds are your best natural filter for absorbing all these nutrients. And by killing them, you're killing the water. And when they spray, they're spraying not only the water, they're spraying the bees. They're spraying all the birds and the nesting birds along that live along the water. They get sprayed and doused with this stuff. You know, they say, well, it doesn't hurt. You'll hear someone tell you, that, well, it doesn't hurt the wildlife. But yet the guys that are spraying have to wear suits. They have to wear gloves so they don't come in contact with the spray. Come on. I'm, that's crazy. But anyway... This is a beautiful spot. It really is. Y'all, you haven't seen it, you need to come check it out. I'm going to post the address here, and um, it's worth checking out. It is a beautiful area, and I think if you let Mother Nature do what it's supposed to do, and you let the plant life clean the water like it's supposed to be, this is millions of dollars well spent. But if you spray the thing down with poison, and you kill all the plant life and the wildlife, what is the use? You're just making a big toxic poison mud hole. So, yeah, I'm ramping and raving. And I know you guys like my fishing videos, but if we don't take care of stuff like this, there's not going to be no fishing. 
we got to take care of this. This is a step in the right direction. It's a great thing if managed properly, and I see it not being managed properly. I can't see how spraying is the answer. So uh, appreciate it. You know, share this video if you would like. I plan on coming back here in uh, a few days. And looking at more, I see where some of the lily pads and stuff started to die off. And I will be checking and see how much more has died off in the next week or two. And uh, try to get some answers of why they do it in the first place. So, thank you again. Beat Hink. Till next time. We'll see you.